Buffalo Bills are a team that came into this season with Super Bowl aspirations. And to say that this year has been a disappointment up to this point in time, that would be an understatement. The Bills are currently holding a 7-6 and six record. And they're second in their division that they've won for three straight years. Things haven't been going their way. But things might be starting to change. Welcome back to the Bills Bunker. I'm Jake Varco, and today it's Victory Monday. The Buffalo Bills are coming off of a massive win at Arrowhead Stadium against the Kansas City Chiefs with an improved record up to 7-6 and six on the season. And in this video, I want to talk about why the Buffalo Bills appear to be back. But before I dive in, I'd like to take a moment to encourage you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Check out other content on the channel and stay tuned for more stuff coming your way. Lots of reaction videos. Going to be at the game on Sunday, so I'll be doing some interviews with fans beforehand. Lots of fun stuff ahead of the Cowboys-Bills game, so stay tuned for that. But the Buffalo Bills just escaped Arrowhead Stadium with a 20-17 victory over the Kansas City Chiefs in a much-needed win, a game where the Bills really helped keep their playoff hopes alive and improved their chances of sneaking into that seventh spot. The Bills got helped out a little bit by what was definitely a penalty uh, taken by Kadarius Tony. Tony lined up offsides on a play that ended up being a touchdown, but it got reversed due to the offside Offensive offside cost the Chiefs big time in this one. That game right there is a game that the Bills have played multiple times this year. However, this time, they're finally on the right side of it. Thank you for all your power and your grace, dear baby God. Amen. I don't want to overstate what I'm selling to you right now, but when I look at the Bills and what they've done over the last three games, so you go back to that New York Jets thumping, at Highmark Stadium. That was nice. It's the lowly Jets, though. It doesn't matter. Whatever. It's a win. It's a game you should have won in week one as well. Then, the following week, at Philadelphia. Philadelphia, one of the best teams in the NFL. One of the best records in the NFL. Went to the Super Bowl last year. They have the unstoppable tush push. Well, the Bills lose, but in overtime, in thrilling fashion, in what was a game of the year candidate to this point in time. That game was really Josh Allen stepping up and playing like a warrior, playing one of his best games of his career, but ultimately losing it in heartbreaking fashion. But then you have the bye week, and that bye week, a lot of stuff happened. You had the Von Miller incident, uh, reports about his situation, and then you have reports about Sean McDermott and comments regarding 9-11. So, not a great bye week. You could say that the Bills lost on their bye week, but they got help from outside sources, uh, losses from some teams that are also competing in that AFC wildcard race. And then you go to this week, where the Buffalo Bills face off against the Kansas City Chiefs at Arrowhead Stadium, and they get a much-needed win, 20-17, to escaping just barely. But it's a win. And with that win, the Bills improved to 7-6 and six on the season. And if you just look at the body of work over the last three games, really ever since Ken Dorsey was fired, the Bills offense has woken up. They're awake, and they look dangerous. This looks like a potent team, and it looks like a team that nobody wants to play against. If this team continues playing the way they are right now, they get hot, and they go on a streak here over the last few games. Because if you look at the last few games, they're not impossible to win out. You have Dallas, then you have the Chargers, Patriots, and Dolphins. Those are four games that the Buffalo Bills can win. And I think you need to win at least three of them if you want to get into the playoffs. I'm just saying, the Buffalo Bills, what they've done the last few games, they look like their old selves. This looks like flashes of what we've seen in the past. But can they continue to play like this? If they can continue to play like this over the stretch of the remainder of the season and into the playoffs, yes, the Buffalo Bills will be the hottest team in football at that point in time. And they'll be one of the most dangerous teams 
a lethal team that nobody wants to go up against. Whether you're the one, two, three seed as the Ravens, Chiefs, or Dolphins, the Bills aren't a team that you want to play a team with playoff experience and a team that would have to have a lot of momentum if they get into the playoffs. Josh Allen has looked like a warrior over the last few weeks, and if the Bills are going to really make this playoff run happen and have some success come from it, Josh Allen's going to need to continue doing Josh Allen things. It's going to be interesting to see. And like I said, next week, Sunday, America's Game of the Week, the Dallas Cowboys at Highmark Stadium against the Buffalo Bills. It's a game I'll be at. It's a game I'll be reacting to live from Highmark Stadium. So stay tuned for that video. A good way of doing that, if you haven't yet, is clicking that subscribe button and hitting the notification bell to be notified every time new content's released right here on the Bills Bunker. So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more content coming your way. I'm Jake Varco. Thank you.